What's up guys? How are you honey? Hey, I'm good. Guys, Sarah put a new video out yesterday if you want to check it out over at A Blind Touch. And uh, I'm back to work, man. I enjoyed the GIE. I enjoyed meeting all you fine folks. But now I am back to work. And uh, yeah, I got kind of a problem because we got to start doing fall cleanups but the grass is still growing so what I think I'm going to do is cut grass this week we're going to have two more rain days on Thursday Friday I'm going to have to cut all weekend then I'm going to have to cut into Monday for what I've missed whatever I missed Friday and this Monday that I missed and it's pay week so you know how it goes it's a mess here in Ohio wish I was still back at the GIE but alas we must go back to work and make that money so uh, good seeing you guys there and uh, hey I got to get to work got an important thing I want to talk to you about and uh, we'll get into it so I'll see you soon Tell you what guys, this is super wet and super muddy. Um, gonna have a hard time on this backyard. It, it's really soaked. I'll show you what uh, I did to the front yard, which I didn't try to do it, but uh, right there. Just ever so slight turn and it just went. So uh, let me set you back up. We'll see if we can do this part without getting mud tracks. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this couple different ways because it's literally just mud you can see it has to be cut today we've got rain coming Thursday and Friday I've got seven more today and 12 tomorrow that have to be cut so there's no choice and that's what I'm going to talk about later with you on these yards so let me get this part done over here and I'll be finished up and I'll talk to you guys. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so some of you are going to ask me, why did I cut one part of the yard one way, one part of the yard the other way? Let me explain. The yard is soaking wet. 
last month that section and that section on the outer was all seeded brand new seed if I continue to go up and down this way like I would on a dry day it will rip that apart it's so soft so for me I'd rather have the mud lines that will go away when it rains than to have a bunch of turn circles at the end of these rows and look we're only dealing with this for one week then I come back stripe it up really nice but I'd rather turn in the middle of the yard than to turn on the edges some people will understand that some people won't until you mow I mean right now my feet are sinking into the ground that is a lot of weight putting that big mower on this grass and uh, you can see it what it does to it could can you just imagine me turning on the edges where they just seated so it would rip it apart anyway another thing I don't do a lot in this type of weather I don't trim a lot I'll trim it maybe twice a month because I want that seed to take and grow you hit that with the trimmer the wrong way which is easy to do and you're gonna rip it right out of the ground so let me finish this up and I'll see you in a minute As you can see looking good trimmed up oh my goodness so hey I wanted to remind you guys that know him Tom Doby good friend of mine went in for hip replacement surgery this morning I'm getting ready to give him a call so Tom if you see this video I hope you did well man Take the time, get yourself healthy, and then you can be out here hustling like us other hip replacement guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, what I wanted to say was, if you're new at mowing in the fall when it's wet, okay, it's raining all the time in the fall here, there's a difference between leaving a mud line in the yard and leaving a mud rut okay big difference if all you're doing is mowing and the mower tires aren't sinking in you're good to go man yes it's going to look a little dirty and muddy like that last yard but it's not going to leave divots and tracks if you're getting out there and your mower's actually sinking, you gotta get out of that yard. You don't want anything to do with that. And you have to let the customers get you have to let the customers know, you have to convey to them that, hey, this is entirely too wet. I'm not gonna ruin your yard. And look, some people will just say, I don't care what it looks like, do it. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say turn that down because you're going to get a reputation of just hunting the money okay you don't want that 
Yes, you want to make money. Yes, you have to make money. But you also need to be smart when it's time to mow, when it's time not to mow. Yesterday, it was pouring rain. My wife and I went to Costco. We saw three guys out mowing grass. And I said, these guys are absent. But they were working for a big company. Okay? So that big company's got to pay the bills. That's the difference between us and the big, big company. When you're a solo operator, you don't have to ruin things to make money. You can sit home, wait till it dries up. Now, these things are wet today, but they're mowable, and I'm not leaving any ruts. As soon as I start leaving ruts, I'm done. So, uh, anyway, Tom, hope you're feeling better. Guys, go over to Tom Doby Mower Repair. Wish him well. Honey, what do you think? Did we do good today? Awesome, awesome. Nice. And uh, guys right there, she had donuts. How were they? Incredibly delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Finger licking good. Finger licking good? Okay. Kind of like KFC, but only donuts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. If you have questions for me, please send them. If you have comments, send them. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got plenty to mow tomorrow. See you then. Peace.